Greetings so on. If you're new here, I'm Crow Phoenix Knight, and this is the episode 7 of Knight's Game Journey. In today's episode we are playing Bastion. This game has a very interesting concept. It's a lot of kicking and swinging and shooting, so this should be fun. Uh, thank you for the support, and let's do this. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it points the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Mmm. Well, it's a touching reunion. It is. Cool. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. All right. That a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. <laughs> What a funny name. No! Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. Yep. Okay, is there anything else to collect here? Oh, there is. I guess I have to ruin this market. Yep. Ah. Uh. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Cool. This is so cool. Shooting weapon. Oh, I need to fill this. All right. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Yep. Sometimes you just need a drink. The truer words were never spoken. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. A school of squirts tunnels up around him. <laughs> Must have fled here from the mines. Who are you guys? I need a drink. Uh. Cool. It's a wonder the old saloon's still standing. Used to have the nicest view. Let's just uh, check something out. Oh, I can't destroy that. Okay. Let's see about this. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Saloon, huh? Finds his trusty shield. What the? Sorry, buddy. Do I get the revolver around here? At least I got the shield. 
The security takes him for a petty thief. What the? Eh? I'm not a thief. I'm not a thief, you know? Delivery. Yes, of course! Windbags start turning up for last call. No, 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 no. <laughs> More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Oh, come on, guys. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Big fella, huh? <laughs> Thank you for doing job for me. Cool. It sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Wait, before I go further. Nothing? Okay. Oh, I can go back? Oh! Let's get out of here. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Nice. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. I had enough turrets already. Hey, what is this? The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. What the? Okay. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, one by one. Right back at you. <laughs> cool. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. He's a mighty fast learner. New power. What do I have in my tab? What the? Oh, 
What the? <laughs> he finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Wait a second. Before I go there. No, that's about it. Where should I go first? Austin or the arsenals where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Oh. This is gonna be good. Okay. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. Nice. Oh, I can have multiple potions activated as I progress. Okay. Birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. No, 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 no. Wait a second before I go there. That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them though. Oh. I don't like surprises. Very large since the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Oh, oh, oh. What the? A chunk of alloy, smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Oh shit! Kid, maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Maybe. Okay. Oh.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So small. What the oh? anymore what the okay okay careful what the almost there woohoo what's the matter is misery <laughs> and then he falls to his death I'm just fooling. <laughs> okay, don't disappear yet. Don't disappear. Oh. Okay, that was a real fight. Okay, I cannot go there. Kid better watch his step. Yep. I need to watch my step, even though I'm not a kid. Come on. Okay. Nothing here. Okay. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Okay, okay, okay. Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. Okay. The place is starting to fall. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Better move. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Oh shit! How many of you are there? Kid just keeps running. Yep, I need to keep running. Okay, okay, I can go for this. I can go for this. Okay, okay, okay. Run, 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 run. Okay. Him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. The Bastion. Did anybody else survive? I did. Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. What? We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there, then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right, except no one else showed up. Ain't always much to say. 
Okay. Oh, I cannot fight here? Alright. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kids gotta put its power to good use. Now the bastion can send them even farther into the wild unknown. So cool. Let's explore this a while. Arsenal. Oh, cool! I can have my own haven here. Safe haven. Cool. The bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. A repeater goes with a hammer better than a box of nails. Yep. Oh, and as I progress, I can build more buildings. I like this. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for. Him. But we have to go. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Where to go? Oh, I can hold my skill here. Ah, oh, this cleared area. Oh, core detected. All right, I'll go there. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets, but which one? Well, let's find out. He heads for the biggest dump in town, Scumbag Alley. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is, the oldest scumbag of them all, Gershaw. What the? The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. What the? Woohoo! What the? telling himself he better watch his step. Heal, heal! Who's pushing me? What the? The kid ain't about to pass out in the middle of the workman war. No, I'm not gonna pass out. Shame old Gershel can't float like when he was a young fella. <laughs> the rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. Okay. Okay, let's go. No core, no surprise. Like the gas fellas are hiding it from him. Something sharp. Come on. Okay.
He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. <laughs> Kid ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. Shit! He's come back and digest just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Nice! Come on! Nice! Machete! Say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. Oh! Of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Anything else to collect here? Nothing. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. Come on, do your job. Thank you. Up north is where the gas filler foreman used to live. Tending to his flock. Boink. No, not into the abyss. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Somehow I have a feeling I have to fight a for it. Yep, I was right. What the? Like sure How many of, of them are here? Oh! What the? What the? And now there's a new marshal in town. What? New marshal in town. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. What the rhyme? Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. Yep. I'm a marshal, don't you know that? <laughs> okay, okay, I wanna check out something.
before I leave. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. They ain't pleased. No coal or alloy left to pay him for their efforts. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Okay. There we go. Okay, I get it, I get it. Oh! You're not friendly? Okay. Okay. I checked all other areas, so... Except for... place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. No! Okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. What the? Stop bothering me. Inside the forge, he can fine tune those instruments of his. So this is the money. Okay. The little Zolwood oil and that blade shines like a light. Oh, additional material required. Okay. Draw speed. Okay. Kids lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Cool. With a good length of me's gun, that bow's like new again. Nice. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Cool. Okay. Oh, this feels so good. Comes back just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Can I build something here? He does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Forge. Nice. A lot of things need fixing up in this world. And we can start right here. Cool. Nice. <laughs> On to the next adventure. Into the new mission. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. 
Oh, this is the whole map. Cool. I like this. I like this so much. Melting pot. Okay. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Okay. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. <laughs> cool. Something nasty. Oh, all right. Come on, clear this already. Cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. There might be. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. What the? I need a drink. Ah. Oh. Or stuck inside one of those fancy cages. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. Really? Let's go here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I need some money. Throws a switch. Now, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Quite a bit, as it turns out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All Kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Thank you. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Woohoo! This is so crazy. I love it. Kindly to interlopers. Come on, come on. Tutu. -tu. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Pretty pop that mean old foreman. Oh, you're for me. All right. At this rate, maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty. Hard to tell. 
Yeah, fight for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You can have all the fun. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a ship in a free sample shows up. <laughs> I'm on already. It ain't all bad. There's a kid buying some spices from the motherland. That's free. One thing's for sure that cage is awful heavy. Get out of here. It's a troublesome scene to be sure. So crazy. <laughs> oh, I cannot go there anymore. Okay, I wanted to kick their ass. All right. I still remember the look on his face after that one. Okay. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Oh. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. Nice. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Hmm, which which one I should pick? I'll take that. Fetching fizz is like a mouthful of nails, but the benefits are worth it. Cool. Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. I can switch between them. This and let's show about this. A bow and a 
machete. Every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. Cool. On to the next level. Let's try here. It's been down the path enough times that it's feeling real familiar. But then, what? Somebody gets to the core before the kid. Somebody. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. So could a reckless kid, for that matter. Fragments of the old world rain in the sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I made it. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Not so much for noise and tomfoolery. Power shots. Sky bridges link the path together. One of them bridges whips the kid along. <laughs> well, sure, go. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. Oh. Changed everything, even where the wind blows. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days. We can do it again. But the question is... What's the question? Who else could have taken the core? Oh yeah, that one. Go, 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 go.
tough break. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. live munitions down the path. Find time to find them. Trogan 8? Requires <laughs> to toss those things plenty far away. Nice. <laughs> nice grenades. I love it. There we go. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky when you wake them up. <laughs> Hand grenades are so awesome in here. What? I cannot go to here? You're killing me. could have survived the calamity yep so he didn't find the core that time but that ain't about to stop us sometimes a single look says it all I couldn't collect anything Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. Yeah. The repeater and machete, favorite choices of the Ura hunters we once fought. Grenade. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have a lot of use for that. On to the next area. Which path? Hmm. How about this? The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. The kid sees a plain, frozen faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. What the? Not gonna destroy that again. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. It was someone like him. What? Kid sees him there again. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. Yep. He's got so many questions after all. The 
It's a trap! You just ain't got time for answers. The Thunder Brothers didn't make it. Oh boy. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. Nordy the Bird Boy didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Sr., Grady Jr., they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Uh, should I? Oh, I just wasted grenades. I wanted to hit that, but never mind. Just think, without that man. We wouldn't be here right now, would we? The core survived as well. Okay. And then what? Just wait a sec. No, I'll be good. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Oh, he's alive. Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go, please. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. We fought the Ura decades ago. But that was then. Things are different between us now. Anything to upgrade? No? Oh, I need to place here. The cores. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be alright. Oh! Well, look what we have here. The memorial. Here, yeah, 
kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. Oh, I can collect things here. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. Nice. I get to build more and more. I like this. I like this upgrade, so let's continue. Actually, let's see if I can... so zesty it'll let you carry on through the worst of times yep we tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city let's see what do we have here let's go beef orchard or pipe orchard whatever No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Hey. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. The gods ain't gonna catch you if you fall. Well, the gods are long gone now, and the Orchard Core is long gone too. Seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. Okay. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Nice garden you have here. Decent scarecrow, at least. What the fuck? Whoa! Lights up like a rodeo. Ain't easy punching through his hide. Kid breaks him to bits. Must have been guarding that shrine. Okay. Before I go there, let's check out other areas he can't just leave without checking out that shrine right this better be worth it because i want to explore other areas in this mission so what'll it be invoke the gods or tell them off piv Thank you. 
kid don't need favors from the likes of him. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. There's only one god. You're so pathetic. You're not gonna shoot me? Okay. Kid ain't found a core, but at least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Pith Orchard. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Oh, come on already. Now we can build a shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. Oh! Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. Okay. Kid says hello, but Zolf's lost in thought. <laughs> What about you? The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. I need to find a new weapon, huh? Okay. Time for new location. There's only one way to sit to bring forth. The hard way. <laughs> Serious way. Sure, the city marshals may be gone. But now the 
force crawling the liquid bag. Okay, let's go up. The calamity was mercy. The windbags ain't so lucky. They've been left to freeze or starve or face the kid. Crazy. What the? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You kidding me? I cannot believe this. Invisible walls. Oh, I don't have... Believe this, I cannot kill him. Oh, yeah, Woohoo! maximum health. Let's go no up. Bags, young and old, keep fighting for the fort. He can't hardly tell up from down after a while. Come on! Come and get me! Woohoo! Woohoo! Pistol! Revolver! Nice! At least the marshals left the kid a Martin gift. <laughs> a musket or what? Something yeah. the windbags just can't handle. <laughs> Something that'll punch clean through the greasy eyes. <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about. My new favorite weapon. <laughs> this has become much more fun. <laughs> windbags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want is a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Oh yeah! Yeah. Could 
have been minding the business underground like in the old days. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's up, huh? You're not those so special anymore. What the? What the? Okay. Good thing the windbags don't know. Kids fresh out of health tonics. <laughs> Yeah. Before that, windbags can't use martial supplies, but the kids sure can. Okay, time for coal hammer. Yeah. As for the windbags, Cinderbrick gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Well, the fort ain't theirs, my right? Can't blame him for wanting it, though. <laughs> yeah! Take that! So many of those sorry things hold up inside that old fort. Scratch on him as he presses on the higher ground. This is so cool. Come on, shoot me like. Oh, yeah. You're so lame, you know that? Kid stash of grenades is there for him if things get even worse. Stash of grenades? Kid 
Just blasting everything in sight with that new fangled musket. Of course. Security's plane gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works. This is where the fun begins. Oh boy. Then they bring out Glutus and Glandon and all their scumbag buckles. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. sorry. Yes. Oh yeah. I need my money. I need to collect my salary. Or is it Kid Texas? Kid used to dream of getting a Marshall's badge, but not like this. <laughs> yep. Let's see if anything else is here. Yes, yes. Yeah, here. And now ain't nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrick Fort. Kid shows up just as Ulf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Seems the only thing the Calamity saved for Zolf 
was a smoking pipe. <laughs> Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. Before the, I do anything, let's build something. Thank you. I'll have this for now. Anything survives a musket shot ought to be quick work for that blade. Yes. You want to tune a scrap musket, you start with the barrel. Okay. Cinder brick style sure goes down smooth, then stays in your gut like a rock. Justice. They seemed unstoppable. The marshals kept the city's peace. They can rest easy now. Nice. Can't be too careful these days. Poor kid collapses after just one drag. <laughs> good thing ever come out of the past is history um kind of where am I now since all this started. Say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. He never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Mama's heir to the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. Signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. <laughs> Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the era. You name it. Once a kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. City had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found either. So what did the kid do? Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years. In the history of Ceylandia, nobody's ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. standing with the marshals. They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody.
come on, come on already. One night, on one of his expeditions, the ground beneath him shuddered, cracked, and split apart. saw nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened just like that. What was I saying? Anyway. Twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Zelandia's vaunted safe haven. He and no one else. Thankless work 
from a man who ain't even asked his name. Sure, I may be the one who dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made him real, not me. Yeah! What the? Okay. Gotta go. Almost there. say I'll never forget him or what he's doing what he's done I surely would Woof. nice that was cool no I don't want that pipe anymore Anyway, let's continue our adventure. Huh. Poor detective. Okay. The Langston River flowed free and wild. The calamity drank it all up. <laughs> Oi. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Being a gardener is a tough job. <laughs> Riverbank swarming with new bags. You suck. I'm here. Woohoo! Woohoo! What's the matter? They're so bent on finding the core, and they hardly notice the kid. Lucky what for the? him, a certain famous fairy barge is still weeping Lily. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up port side. Nelly's just another windbag with those guns. 
van, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. No, 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 no. They try to cut her off. Try to slow her down. Oh, they trying indeed. They try to knock her out. Well, weeping Nelly tries harder. Try as she might, though, she hits a snag. Oh, She's yeah. Help her get untangled. Favors for favors. for a break, because the core is right there. Oh, I need to change my arsenal? Uh, okay. Okay. But I'm never gonna change the mask unless there is a good reason for it. They have their own eyes on the core. But why? Well, kid ain't got time to think it over just yet. He finds a weak Nelly raring to go. Oh, these are mine. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. Cool. She's gonna need a little help with all them peckers. Crafted things think they're king of the roost now. The rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these. Thank you for the help. Thank you, thank you. Security skips keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Fast. She's oh. just gotta make one last stop. With the last breath, Ellie gets the kid to solid ground. Solid ground in Pecker Country. Seems a calamity ain't hurt the Pecker's appetites. They want that core real bad. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Oh, they oh, will be back times, indeed. Kid nearly fell off the bar back there. Four times. Huh. You'll be keeping calm. 
Now, listen close. You should remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Oh. Used to take an enterprising man, a poor plain old fool, to venture out that far. Oh, you're fighting each other! You're actually stronger than him? Wow. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. Oh. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. Of course. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? What the? Okay. Well, the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? What? But I didn't get to the... Yeah, that's the one. I didn't get cleared. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh! Okay. I thought I was going to the uh, Bastion back. Alright. Okay. Oh, I have to go to here. Of course. Oh yeah. Come at me. I'm here. Woohoo.
Do I go there or? Oh, I should go here. get this drink no apparently not this sucks I know which way to go. Okay, I know now. Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Nope. Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty handed. Cool. And besides, it's like the song goes. Oh. You're living being? That's so romantic. Oh, that's you singing. They'll be here before too long. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I had a work to translate it right away. Hello. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it, her father's own journal. Let's put this. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Nice. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. All it takes is some fragments, and the bastion makes it good as new. Let's upgrade some stuff, if we can. No, I can.
Let's see about here. Hmm. Okay. Kids ready to get real personal with hammer and musket in hand. I like those combinations. Nice. Lock and loaded. Oh, I can now force some things. Nice. Learn to pack those shells full of fire. Yep. Oh, I don't have enough. <laughs> Can't believe this. I may. Use this in the future. So quick, you gotta keep a good grip on him. Yep. Okay. What? Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them, no matter how high we build. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Nice. Okay. On to the next area. We track the final core beyond the city to the wilds. And here it is. The wild unknown. Place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Dueling pistols. No, it's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight. Having two. <laughs> Let's see if this proves to be more effective than Moscow. Yeah. 
savage things lurking at every turn. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. What? Oh, I have a shield. Got the core, like they're building a bastion of their own. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. Didn't expect the kid so soon. What the? Come here. I'm already wasting my health potions. They shouldn't have let their guard down. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Of course! Now be careful. Wallflowers survived the calamity. It toughened them up. Kids faster than a slinger with those guns. Oh! I guess this is the pattern. Yes, give me that. Yep. A handful of windbag shipments made it out this far. Kids seen the last of them. Slinger Johnson's old outpost is all that's left of him.
Actually, why bother? There we go. Kids roused up half the wild by now. Joss's okay. boys left all kinds of stuff out here. Lunkhead. And lunkheads ain't fond of two legged animals. Hit him anywhere but the hind quarters, and he only make him mad. What the? Sup? Kid learns the hard way not to touch those things. Okay, 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 okay. I'm here. signs of the old Jawson camp. Sees a smooth black stone coughed up by the calamity. Be seen plenty more. Die already or what? Now this is the challenge. Bump, so this will have to do. He's anxious to get back. A 
った。Let's get out of here. After all, he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no, it ain't. Not by a long shot. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says, but I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. What? Zolf cursed the city, cursed the bastion, cursed me. Said he was going home. This is strange. When Zolf got through reading that journal, he just snapped, started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. Okay. This is very strange. I need to upgrade something, right? Takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. Shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. Shards. Uh. Okay. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. Where to now? Actually, let's do some proving grounds. First up, Blade. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. Okay. Some folks showed up to make a fast buck with nothing but a knife. Okay, try this. Still others use the place to 
test their finest blades. Come on. Away. Slippery little devils. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, try to run away from me. <laughs> Power shot. Come on, why are you so slippery? Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't run away! Slippery! Hey! No. How about now? How about now? Oh yeah. Two more. Kid cuts all of them down soon enough. Oh boy. Ninety second. No, 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 no. César Back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and ripe. Oh, nice, cool. Okay, I have new items. But not enough money. That's okay. Let's go to the next area. Oh, how about this? Ever felt as old wood gourd? Like picking up broken glass barehanded. As old wood grove, marshals learn to make every shot count. The trick was to pop all those nasty gourds without wasting ammo. Most marshals didn't get far on their first few tries. Oh. 
Oh. Had to catch a bunch of those boards in a single shot. I like this. Funny thing about muskets is they work best up close. It took a keen eye to dot an itchy trigger finger. Oh! Already got two prices. You know what? I'm gonna try 15 shots. I'll try. Kid takes a little personal time for just him and his favorite musket. Careful planning. fell on his hind quarters in the grove wouldn't soon hear the end of it. The orchard grew over so quick, the marshals made it worth clearing out. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> You're kidding me. Let's go. Kid probably could have made himself marshal one day. Let's go to the next brewing ground. Huh. But first this. The city's unwanted thing has all met their end in the yard. Folks who fouled up will do their time here, smashing things to bits. The quicker they worked, the sooner they could go. Folks learn to plant their feet and put their backs into it. Others would plot a course to navigate that sea of junk. What the? the yard did have its risks. Had to work real fast for the finest prize. Okay. 40 seconds or less. Okay. I can do this. Kid pays another visit to the scrapyard for old time's sake. <sighs> okay. 
planning and go work too slow all you got was a sore back some folks invested their earnings to forge even better hammers what the? Come here, quick, 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 quick! A good day smashing to feed a family for a week. Twenty-seven. Oh man. Um, I don't know. Maybe later. Ever want to just smash things for a while? You know where to go. Yep. Let's go about shield. The accused always got a fair shake in Ceylonia. Some used to take the bullhead trial. Survive the trial without taking a scratch. You'd walk away a free man. Nice. Bullhead trial taught folks three things. First, a good defense is a good offense. Second, you gotta always watch your back. Third, ain't no godlike bull up there gonna save you. Do you even know how to hit? Step aside and let things go. Thank you. 
Nice. Money. Oh, yeah. I need the money. I'll definitely gonna play for at least second place. Court is back in session for the kid. Okay, 15 or Old less his. Old when folks believe there was this godlike bull watching over him. Had to make do with nothing but a shield. Okay. Nice. Nice. Water. Yeah, I need more money. Uh, maybe later. Three hits of your. No, I don't think I can take that for now. Well, a kid always wanted to compete in the bullhead trial. Oh, not that, not that. Hmm. How about...
fuck is that? Ain't never letting go of his old friend with a sturdy grip like that. Yep. Gonna need that. What else is there to say? Of course. He ain't all that shy. Let's go for the pistol. Maybe like the pistol. For now, let's go back to the shards territory. After Zolf's little episode, Kid sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jaws and Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. I'll make it through. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? No, I cannot go there. Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the bastion bad. Nothing here. But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. What? Don't know where he's gone. He might be gone for good for all I know. Kid can't fall. No matter how hard he tries, wherever he is, somewhere I've never been, somewhere I never want to go. What the? Nice. What? Siren? What the? What's going on? The dead welcome him with open arms. What? I'm not dead. Here? There's no way out. There is. Yeah, I need some money. I better survive it. No, ma'am. It's a lonesome ghost of a gas fella. See something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds Peckers, lunkheads, wallflowers, pincushions, vine apples, swamp weeds, ankle gators, 
Oh, everybody is so friendly. What the? No! That was only an illusion. Where should I go? Okay, I cannot beat them. Now the bastion can send them even farther into the wild unknown. Okay. Obviously, I cannot. Okay. He's invisible. Kid sets foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. Oh, it's that spot. Security is just gonna have to straighten it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot of. Drink and shoot and live. Kids su succeed where the calamity failed. Would you look at what he did to poor old Ronnie, the bartender? Shut up. Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. It's so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world's all right, snoozing there on a rock in the sky. We are at the start of the story, or what? He wakes up. I'm just fooling. <laughs> he sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Piff the bull. I need to come through. The gods, they're all undone. He sees what's left of his lifelong friend. What the? He's like a doppelganger. He's not my friend. Oh, I need more money. He sees what's left. What's left? Undone. Okay, what is this now? This kind of reminds me of the that song Misty Mountains from Hobbit. Where should I go then? Here or what? Picor. Take wood and Okay, I made fire. Now I have to rest. What? Thought we'd lost him, but he finally comes to.
The shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. What the hell is this? Stick their nasty thorns into his heels. Disgusting things. Yeah, indeed. What the hard to get a sure footing in the bog? Ever heard of a lung blossom? It's bigger than the stories say. What the? They say one whiff of lung blossom can make you lose your mind. somehow. Patience and strength and wisdom. That was all I needed. Let's get out of here. Mother only knows what happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak of it.
A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. What? The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. The memorial may be finished, but our part is far from over. What? Oh! I just said the more things? The menders. They had thankless jobs. The most important kind. Nice. That's a lot of the kid. But this is something he's done on his own. No, thank you. Something I shall be using more often. Oh, new drink. Yeah, this. If you're feeling low, count on the buttery flavor of our own Bastion bourbon. To master the musket, you gotta get rid of the recoil. Range? Nice. Let's go to the next area. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wild. So much for that plan. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. Again, I should have switched for the hammer. But I can do that in the another mission. Nice. All kinds of beasts were don't know up and down, still looking about. <laughs> Only the city's brushes knew their way around the lagoon. <laughs> I like this combo. Can't get hasty in a place like this. No, nope, we cannot. You're not so special anymore. Even the brushers learn to fear this place. Come on, open up. FBI, open up. <laughs> the 
They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. Oh boy. They called her Queen Anne. Okay. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle Gators love shiny things. The Lagoon's got plenty of other dangers, of course. Okay, I cannot destroy that. How about this? Open up! No what smells worse than an ankle gator's breath? A stink weed. Patience! Oh yeah. No, no, no. I don't want to smell that. <laughs> Can't fight Queen Anne without the proper tools. The brushers what? use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. What the? Bad idea to walk in gator grass. Okay. So much. Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. Kid's got a mean throwing arm. Okay, where should I go now? Most of those peckers are smart enough to stay out of Queen Anne's way. Okay, not that way. Not here, either. Those pin cushions been living off the ankle gator scraps. Fit down some of these narrow paths. What the? I keep falling, you know. Oh, case in point. Queenie leads the kid into some kind of twisted trap. One bad step in that tall grass and he's Queen Anne's lunch.
holds his ground. Seems the queen's running out of options. Oh, sneaky queen. So you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kids gotta make a run for it. What the? Those leaping lunkheads don't like Queen Anne any better than a kid. What the? Where should I go then? out of options. Okay. Oh. Queen's got one mean bite. Okay, can I go here? I need to be fast, fast, fast. Queenie must have scared a bunch of peckers out of hiding. Think weeds know to stay away from the queen. Okay. She's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. They say if you run across an ankle gator, 
You better keep running. The shard's sitting in plain view. Where should I go? Oh, I have to heal her. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Huh? Are you afraid? She's starting to get annoyed. I see. Opening up, I'll fix it for you. Ma Come on. Come on, we need to co coordinate. Let's get out of here. Kids done what needed to be done. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. Arsenal. The arsenal's complete, in case we need protection. said Queen Anne was just a folk tale. Now there's living proof she ain't. That gator's a crazy gal. So is the gal who promised to look after her. Nothing? Still gonna be ugly. <laughs> now I'm gonna save some money. Let's go to the next adventure. Let's go here. Few places steeped in history and sweat so much as this. Point Lemaine. Uh huh. If the wilds could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. 
now. The greatest outpost past the city line is nothing but a freak show. Uh huh. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Oh, nice. <laughs> Kid might as well pick up where they left off. Blam, just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wild in check. <laughs> That kind of army, net ar not army, a uh, weapon. What the? Nice. Whole place shudders in a fit. The Grand Rail of Point Lemaine. Not only is it still there, it still works. It's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices, but it can give the kid a lift. But just as long as he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. What the? Come on, I want to defend. Grand rails all grown over with things of calamity chewed up and spat out. Things eager to take back their turf. Footwork on the rail, what with wallflowers, coffin fungus everywhere. Only one way to cure a cough like that. <coughs> Thank you. 
place used to be closed off, but now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. Not much wiggle room up there near the rail. Come on, come on. Okay, better run, better run. I don't have a musket. Of course, the Grand Rails seem much more fight in bygone times. I'm gonna take this and this. Near How about them apples, huh? Ago, first shots fired in the Ura Ceylandian War. Right here, that Zolf's Ur forefathers decided to mix it up. Come on. What's up? Yeah, money to me. Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That maybe. Was bad. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, come on, you suckers. The rail must have shook the earth to the bone down in those dens of theirs. Well, yeah. the rail won't last much longer now that the kid took the shard. It's still got one good run in store for him, though. All the rotten wood there on the rails turned it into swamp weed central. What the? What the? Just give me a break or... I don't like them apples, huh? He's got company up at the rail station waiting for him. I can't believe I missed him. It's such a nice co nice combo. Not just another wallflower pin cushion, my dear. At first he thinks it's Zolf. Turns out he's wrong. Who are you? This is for you, says the man. Then wham. <laughs> when the kid comes to, the man's long gone. But something else is there. The only words the kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. Okay. Well, what's a kid to do? I like how how we was like sleeping casually rather than knocked out. Ah, I cannot pronounce that sometimes. <laughs> he took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. Yeah. 
That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days, but we'll take what we can get. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity and our people. I'll be waiting. Sincerely, Zolf. Eh? Strange. Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived. And what exactly Zolf told him. Anyway. Take this later, just maybe. A sail hammer is only as strong as its spine. That's a strong spine. Let's see, what should I... Yeah, this. Ain't saying much, but that's the greatest forge in all the city. Three more weapons? Nice. something change for this points just don't get any sharper than that Go to the next area. The shards are getting harder to find. The 
there's a lot more to explore. Let's go. Not everything blew up in the calamity. Why Colford Cauldron here blew up way ahead of its time. Hmm. The cauldron boiled over some 300 years ago. They say it filled the skies with ash and the lakes with molten rock. If you wanted to survive something like that, you had to learn to adapt. So in a way, the beasts of the wilds, they're all survivors too. What's up, huh? It takes a certain stubborn pride to keep on living in a place like this. As for us, we learned an awful lot from Colford Cauldron. What? That learning led to some interesting inventions. New weapon. <laughs> I'm Pyro. Yeah! <laughs> this kind of reminds me for that mission in Far Cry 3 and that Pyro guy from Team Fortress 2. What is. Wanna some barbecue? Need a light though. Fires became an addiction. Kind of. What's up, huh? Sure, we dusted off a good many secrets out here. Anyone wants to fight pigeon? But we discovered other things we're better off not knowing. Given scent of sulfurous dirt. <sighs> the taste of air so hot it sticks to your lungs.
All sorts of awful things crawling under the floor. You can cook those things, but you can't eat them. Yep. life and all that ash. <laughs> I need some money. Sorry, monuments. Uh, I mean, skeletons. You know what I mean. On sifting through the cauldron secrets anyway. Should I change my arsenal or what? You know what? I'm gonna keep it. I think this is gonna be good. The more ash we swept aside, the more life we found. The place is inhospitable as they come. After all, when we look down inside Colford Cauldron, Gonna be good. Oh, yeah, we had to have it. As for the kid, he just has to get that shard out of there. Too bad taking that thing woke up every last stink eye from here to Johnson Bog. Come and get me. Kid's thinking he's got a trek all the way back around the cauldron. Block twist, I don't. Luckily, the cauldron cooked up a little shortcut for him. Sure, it ain't the most convenient path. Uh, I 
I'm not close enough. Nice. Biggest stink guy he's ever seen is waiting for him on the other side. Come on! Come and get me! Well, it ain't polite to stare. Yep. He ain't polite. And where there's one stink guy, there's always more. Cauldron's tenants all gather up to bid the kid a fond farewell. Need to light them. Kid don't shed any tears for him though. Need to light them. How about the barbecue? What the? With a good spyglass, you can still see the cauldron from the city. <laughs> oh, before I go there? No, nothing here. Okay. But all the fires died out. There's nothing left of it. He comes back looking like the inside of a chimney. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Kinda. The shard works like a charm. You can hear the monument's heartbeat again. But before I do that... They said the wild could never be tamed. If only they could see us now. We're all a little short on friends these days, so that's a welcome sight. Nice. Should I upgrade this or... Actually, yes, I'll upgrade that. Just the occasion to crack open the distillery's private reserve. Let's see what I can upgrade. First. Ever see a kid with a musket and a fire bellows? Bit of a disturbing sight. Touches on the business end of that thing. Yep. At least it won't get cold around here with that thing around. Inside a fire bellows ain't nothing like its more popular air spitting cousin. Yep. 
Yeah. just in time to sample Zia's famous cooking. We spotted a pecker carrying a shard to Mount Zan. Mount Zed it is. Can't rightly call Mount Zan the mountain anymore. There's no more mountains now. There's no place left for the beasts of the wild to go. What the? So they figure they'll hold out right here on a slab of mountain the calamity forgot. How am I supposed to see anything here? We only found their little lair because they found themselves a little shard. Come on! I need to cook you! Good nice. thing for those beasts, the calamity saved leftovers. Yep. been hoarding all the valuables they could find. The creatures of the wild, they've been building a bastion of their own. here somewhere It's a delicate situation. They even dragged their children into this. Oh boy. Where should I go? Uh, first. I mean, where should I go first?
situation stinks. Oh yeah. What the? Falling down and falling down all over again. Okay. <laughs> Best thing we can do for those beasts right now is put them down quick and clean. Oh, new weapon. Besides, we have to take back what's ours. Mortar. What the city left behind, those beasts took for themselves. Nice. Actually, I'm good with this for now. Hopefully, I made a good choice. <laughs> it takes a lot of convincing, and our mortars have to do the talking. Yep. Look at it this way. It's either them or us. But if we win, they win too. Our bastion is everybody's gain, not just ours. Oh, nothing. Okay. Unfortunately, there's no explaining that to a simple beast. Those beasts been hard at work fixing up the place. Nice. They've rounded up their survivors, just like we have. As the saying goes, Mortal Combat! As the saying goes, Mortal Combat! <laughs> They've been searching for cores and shards, just like we have. Oh, I can't be this way. Hello, bird.
that's the way. There we go. There we go. Let's get out of here. He's done what's best for him, don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll all be better off once the bastion is complete. The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. Nice. Suppose it's true a little song can put things in perspective. Nice. Fix that thing right up, didn't we? Made these goings on a little livelier. everything as long as we have that nice Nice. Outhouse. Uh, I don't want to try that yet. a little extra kick.
That mortar's gonna leave a lasting impression. trick from a galleon gunner I once knew. What is this? The monument's getting better. Zolf sure did a number on it, though. Okay. Seems the gods recommended this place to all their friends. Okay. Hello. Fixed that thing right up, didn't we? Made these goings on a little livelier. I suppose it's true, a little song can put things in perspective. Oh, look at this! Gramophone! <laughs> think the gods are gonna help? No, thank you. Just a couple shards left. The quarry's gotta have one, right? Yep. Imagine everything you need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes burstone quarry. The Ura tunnels beneath the quarry must have softened the blow from the calamity. Nice! We bought the whole place from the Ura on the cheap. Same goes for its natives. Rattletails. What is that thing? Oh, that's mine. Okay. 
Rattletails ain't the worst of it either, but more about that in a little bit. The quarry came with a lifetime supply of windbags. Windbags smaller than the naked eye can see are nesting in those rocks. The quarry ain't exactly up to safety standards no more. But there was even more to it than that. Nice. Okay. Not only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things. Why is there no more music? They're recording everything, all the time, taking it all in. Rattletails fill the place with holes. No wonder all those beasts were drawn to the quarry. The rocks were calling them. There is the music. All right. Keeping the quarry free from pests turned out to be a problem. Rattletails kept tunneling in the snack on windbags. Without those windbags, the quarry might not have its special qualities. Even stink eyes started taking root in here. Where the Ura sell off such a fascinating place. The Ura always were a superstitious lot. Might be the gods told them the quarry's bad news. Musket! In any case, it's fair to say the quarry was a godsend. <clears throat> what? Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. Do I need to... Wait a second, before I go there, I need to check something out. Okay, where should I go? No, I was there already.
this. Keep the lights on in the entire city district. Shut up! The smaller ones, we call them shards. got a fraction of core's power, enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland. Come on, Ori. Rocks are much too young to be a use. Oh, yeah. Not there. Remember how I said rattletails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That oh, boy. goes to a beast we took to Colin, Sir Lunky. Massive things stop many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. The, the only thing harder than the rocks and burstone quarry is Sir Lunky's head. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. <laughs> okay, I just get got rid of him. Then Very the good. Here's a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says. Where should I go? Oh, here. Okay. It's him. I've come to warn you, he says. The Bastion is under siege. What? Let it fall. You should not go back. Bro, you okay? Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because strange. my countrymen will. This is very strange. Let's find out. Say what you will about Zolf. But he's a man of his word. His countrymen don't much care for pleasantries, though. Zolf showed him the way here, and here they came to take revenge. What the hell is going on? They got inside the bastion and shut the door. Kids gotta go in through the back. I should have told them sooner about all this. What? See, the bastion's no mere safe haven. Big surprise, right? To make matters worse, seems the Ura took the girl. Unfortunately, they broke in, and they started 
digging their hole. Something wrong has run out of those holes, and it's eaten away in this place. We tried to stop it, but we needed help. What a piece of me? the dust settles. Then I tell him why the Ura came. To get us back. For the calamity. It was Ceylandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story. The shards can put this disease in remission, but there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. What were we to think? They must have got her, taken her back to her rightful home. The Mercy. The windbags ain't the only beast that drew a bad lot. The conscience. We haven't lost everything, long as we have that. Nice. We need an awful big lost and found under the circumstances. One last shard. That's some heavy duty hardware. Not exactly the most delicate pairing. Serious firepower. Oh, yeah. That mortar's gonna leave a lasting impression. fragments now. Nice.
been meaning to put up some guardrails. Yeah, you should. Thought of an old trick from a galleon gunner I once knew. Let's go to the... Okay, this is gonna be good. The Ura swooped down from the east. At least now we know the way. Actually, let's have a, some practice. Ceylandia's armada was a glorious sight, and our ship's mortars were unstoppable. At Boundless Bay, our Navy put those mortars through a rigorous inspection. Had to use squirts to simulate explosive impact on the surface of the sea. Galleon skippers needed to be patient, needed to fire at just the right times. You could almost see the fireworks over Boundless Bay. Nice! Cool. Let's get out of here. This was so fast. Good thing we got to that mortar before the beasts of the wild learned how to use it. Yep. Even end of those. Yep. The skippers delivered us from the motherland. Sometimes I want to ask him why I do any of this. But truth is. I don't want to know. every swing. Okay, let's go to here.
one last shard. It's all we need to put this mess behind us. And mother, what a mess it is. A mess like that could have only been made by hand. Zolf said the Calamity failed, and he's right. The Ura stand as living proof of that. going on already devised a way to seal the Ura tunnel shut in a flash. Just like that, every last Ura living in the Tassel terminals will be gone. I just wanted to make... <laughs> Never mind. You won't understand it. This discovery was never to be used, they said, except as a last resort. Shut up. Thank you. But Van didn't like being manipulated. He had plans of his own. Something wrong? He sabotaged the Mancer's little science project, set it to blow up in their faces.
imagine how Van must have felt when they finally made him pull that trigger. Okay, now what is this? But remember, the Bastion can fix everything. We just need that shard. What the? <laughs> Fall you, not me. Yes, shard. It's too bad the Ura ain't exactly been willing to collaborate on that front. Yeah, I could suspect something like that. Things first, though. There's someone we figured needed rescuing. See ya. Yep. The Ura fell back. No doubt planning the next move. But we knew ours already. Oh. There's something we had to do before going after that last shard. Oh yeah. We have to rescue Zia. Well, now it's personal, ain't it? Oh yeah. It's personal for him, and it's personal for me. Straight down to business. They never saw him coming. He gets <laughs> his hands on the care package I sent him. No, what is this? <laughs> Rocket launcher, huh? It's a little something I've been fixing up in my spare time. <laughs> Nice. I like this. No, I cannot go through there. Now, what is this? Lara found a way to keep the calamity from spreading through the Sultan's Hollow. The kid has oh. to put a damper on their plans. Oh, yo. It's you, huh? their own security and everything pretty fancy <laughs> nice oh yeah they've got these conductors that are all what's keeping the place together break enough of those things and the calamity rocks slink back into the ground nice Get away. You're not so cool anymore. See? Oh, 
Oh, I need to be careful. Where should I go? Those rocks are like tumors, the same kind they are a plenty of bastion. I need to be careful with this. Well, the Ura must be in a panic right about now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually... Hmm. I'll take that. Take that little rattletail pets on the kid. Those rodents are just a bump in the road. Oh yeah. Nice. Sucks to be you. You can't shoot me at this range like I do. <laughs> It's not the time to get reckless. No, it's not. <laughs> nice. Can I leave this up? Taking the whole place apart, piece by piece. Oh yeah, and I am proud of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. By now, every Ura from here to the terminals must know he's in town. Kid returns their greeting tenfold. Oh, come on already. They're easy targets. Oh, yeah. Most of the Earth's conductors are squared away in the middle of the hollow. So it was their mothership or motherboard or something. <laughs> this is so cool! Those calamity rocks must be eating that place apart from the inside. Oh yeah. Nice. Get away from me. Okay, go to the cliff. Or, or you won't. Okay. They're uh, keep hanging on to that barricade. After all, their homeland's not much farther. Yeah. Where should I go next? <laughs> gotcha. Okay. End of the road. I see. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Not that way yet. Some of them are downright bewildered by what's happening. Oh. 
somebody cough? No, thank you. I don't need your services. Maybe they know they've lost this. Lost to a kid. Did that all right? Yes, our people caused the calamity, but here we are trying to fix it. Get away. This is so tough. Shame the opportunity for civilized discourse is over. Oh yeah. It really is, is a shame. Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. Yeah, you should have. Gotcha. Where should I go then? There's nothing standing in his way no more. Okay, not go there yet. He sees the Tazzle terminals loom large on the horizon. Okay, before that. Before I go there, let's check this out. What the? Sneaky little bastard. But when what? this is all over, it'll all be water under the bridge. Okay, go. Okay. I think this is about way it. out there on the edge of the world. That's where he finally finds you. But it ain't like Prosper Bluff this time. Ain't nothing for this gal to sing about now. Hello. Zia, you weren't kidnapped. What? Oh, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. To your own people. You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. Ugh. Sure you didn't drop that twangy thing on purpose? 
just to see if he go after you. They lost everything, didn't they? But they just keep on fighting like that's gonna bring it all back. I don't need to see what happened to the Ura. I'm trying to undo it, remember? Okay. Part of the rippling walls floated by, so I caught the kid's old knapsack. Oh. Uh, before I do that. Kid loaded down with some of Ceylandia's finest firearms. Let's upgrade some things. First step to learning the Calamity Cannon is knowing about the machinery overrides. Now, who would have taught a kid to do a thing like that? Hmm. Good thing I didn't throw away the manual. Yep. Oh yeah, memorial. The country. She's all the pieces now, but still looking good. The inspiration. A forge can fashion anything. Nice. for the mask. Oh boy. The Armada sure could have used one of these back in the day. a little extra kick oh I don't have enough money oh well not to worry okay now that I have a musket and a mortar weapon let's go to our final destination <laughs> funny I'm like a combination of rifleman and mortar team from uh, Warcraft 3 so cool anyway let's go to our i think our final destination mission
I can't hear him at all anymore. He's too far away. But he'll be all right. Wait, is, is this gonna be like a serious Sam? A lot, a lot, a lot of, lots of, lots of enemies. From and come on home. Oh yeah. Hey, what is this? Nothing. Okay. Gotta be careful. The calamity hit the Tazel terminals hardest of all. Nice. You know why Zolf went back there. The place was his home. All his old friends and family were there. Come on, give me a break, lady here. Zolf must be there all alone, just waiting. Thank you. Oh, you're dead. Okay. Lots of enemies, all right. Like I said, is you know this gonna be like a serious Sam? Well. You suck. Are waiting for a kid. You suck. You suck too. What the? <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. Look around. There's not much left to do here in the Bastion, I'm afraid. So why not tell each other stories to pass the time, right? Uh, why do I have a bad feeling about this? Break already, ninja guy. <laughs> yeah, I should use that more often. Hello, here's some delivery for ya. But Zia, there's another reason I've been telling you all this. There's something I want you to understand. What? brings back that shard, the Bastion will be complete. That's the point, right? What happens 
resolve will no longer matter. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah. Zelandia will be whole again. Everything will be back to normal. Everyone will be alright. Oh, you wanna play that game with me? Really? Here you go. Here you go. This stuff for what? What should I do? Oh, I can jump. Nice. I didn't know that. Again. Think of all those times that didn't go your way. Oh, you wanna fight? There we go. Need to be careful. Hello. Your ninja oh, technique sucks. Imagine if you could have another go at him. Hello, lady. Everything's falling apart. What the? Okay, I need to hurry up. No mistakes. Okay, gotta hurry up. Anyone you've ever heard? Everything you've ever done, you could do it over. And wouldn't that be grand? Wouldn't you agree? 
Well... Okay. Let's go. I guess there's nothing more to say. Where should I go? Look. There's something else. What? A confession. How come I know so much about the Bastion? That's a good question. You follow me? Well, I designed the place. But that's beside the point. What the? Problem with a place that sets things back to a bygone time. You can't test it. So you're probably wondering if the calamity happened already. What's to stop it from happening again? after the Bastion does his thing. Okay. The answer is... I don't know. What? Sweet and all, but I don't know if I can stick around. Okay, what is happening? You see this change on the screen? The weight of the calamity. It's on our shoulders. What? We can't just let it go. <laughs> oh, wow. What is this weapon? Oh, this is how I defend? Alright, but how do I go further? Oh! Bastion does have another function, strictly speaking. <laughs> okay, where should I go then? Do 
This really is heavy. Here? If ever the monument blew out, and we couldn't repair it, we could still evacuate. First, we'd round up as many folks as we could carry. Next, we'd detonate the cores, and we'd take off away from here. Need to do some cleaning here. <laughs> Not so tough, huh? That would mean no going back. Ever. But then again, that way all of us could leave the city. Together. You know, Zolf and his countrymen won't be giving up that shard without a fight, don't you? Sleep. Hello. Zolf and the Ura. All they want now is to see the Bastion fall. Bastards. Zolf dedicated his life to the last peace between the Ura and Ceylandia. He can't have imagined the city would try to wipe the Ura out. So powerful. Come on. Zolf ain't lost every shred of decency, though, has he? continue this fight boy I'm so slow now This ain't a personal matter. Of 
course. all the way home. Okay. Any more surprises? What? Awkward. Oh, it's Yusuf. Bastard. Oh, I have a choice now. Uh, what to choose? I can see it now. The kid in one corner. And Zolf and the other. Ain't much of a fight. Don't you worry, though. Once the Bastion's restored, it'll all be all right. I'm even slower. You ain't still thinking about that whole leaving the city thing, are you? Probably dealt was off by now. He reminds me of myself when I was his age. I ever tell you about those days? Hey, kid. Get up, kid. Come on, that ain't funny. I say get up. That's more like it. Now, set that shard into the monument there. Then we'll talk. The Bastion. It's finally finished. Now, there's something I want you to see. Welcome to the heart of the Bastion. I ain't one for long goodbyes, so here's the deal. Zia and I figure you done the heavy lifting, so you get to do the honors. We can tell you how to work this thing if you got any questions. What? Hey, kid. 
You can undo the calamity here and now. Go on, kid. And before I forget, thank you. Always wondered what the motherland was like. Not that it matters anymore. Zolf only brought more ruin to the Ura. No wonder they didn't take kindly to him. You've got one thing left to do, so you hang on to that badge. Besides, you earned it. Don't let anything you've done get to you. You can save all those creatures here and now. We made it. So, let's see. You can either prevent the calamity, or stick around with me and Rex. I'd hate to be in your shoes. If I could be any place I wanted, I'd stay right here. We could go anywhere in the world. Zolf tried to talk me into joining him. I tried to talk him out of it. I guess we both failed. <laughs> right. When I finally found my people, I told them we could help. They just took me for a traitor. Glad you showed up. Any moment I'd want to live again happened after the Calamity, not before. Now I have to make a choice? Just go with your gut. You'll do the right thing. Ready to get this over with? <sighs> All things considered, I'll take this. Figured you'd had enough of me by now. You could have undone the calamity itself, but instead you want to stay in a world like this. I gotta admit, kid, I ain't yet put much thought in that idea. But carrying on with you here, we can't go back no more. I suppose we could go wherever we please. And if anyone left out there, I sure would like to see the look on their faces when we dock this thing right on that doorstep. Getting ahead of myself, though. I'm gonna need a first mate. What do you say? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. This was the Bastion. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, su such a fun gameplay, presentation, upgrades, weapons. Uh, story was decent. So cool. I was actually surprised how deep the lore was. And definitely this game needs a sequel if they ever make one. So if they ever make one, let me know. Uh, what I didn't like about this is that it's very short. Uh, definitely wanted to explore more of this game. And yeah, that's a pretty much about it. What, what I can remember at this point. Uh, next, next game should be action one or adventurous one. So stick around thank you for your support don't forget to subscribe comment like and share i'm gonna see you in the next video until then be the very best version of yourself